We are uh, on our way to Richmond, Virginia to hang out with the humble boys from Lamb of God. And we're going to do some video and some photo. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do video more tomorrow and do more photo stuff today. Okay. And then, uh, so we can say, we have, I have like three or four ideas I want to do for photo. So we can kind of scout it out and see what we want to do and then, you know, but we can do whatever. We are on our way to Mark's, but we're going to go to FedEx to pick up this cabinet that they didn't want to deliver today. So, I don't know where the FedEx hub was, but Mark said it might be another hour. Oh, oh my God. So that's why it was like, it finally to me solved the issue of how to find low end in there that's not that's not too loose for me. And the Royal was the first one I heard that did. I mean, the, the, the four has a nice tight gain structure. It just doesn't have, you wanna get off right here, Broad Street. It just doesn't have a whole lot of low end um, presence and when you force it it's not it's not the most it's not the strong point of the amp is low end but to me the royal is solved that issue big time how and it's like and it sounds modern it's a modern sounding game and there's plenty of it but it's still got a really great mid presence that's just it it's like I was able to like this finally gave like a tight present low end but still that awesome growly mid with that smooth kind of creamy gain structure that I like so much. You're gonna come up to this light and take a left. So that's my take on it. You know, I've probably told you this before, we've laughed about it before, taking a left right here. I want, I want the, I want there to be a character of, in the, in when you're chunking chords to sound like when you're thumping on a watermelon, you know what I mean? It's like that real thunk, 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 thunk. Like I like that that kind of uh, character like a uh, resonant chunk like a thunk like a like almost it's uh, it's almost got this kind of hollow timber to it and uh, I, I just uh, the five to me is 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 more it's still a little sandier and it's and it's like just kind of got this this it's barkier whereas to me I'm able to get the four a little more um, a little more of a pleasant woof, you know. It woofs. The five barks, the four woofs. <laughs> Am I totally and full of shit? <laughs> and you said the royal growls. This is good. The royal growls, right? They're all dogs. <laughs> the wolf's barking They're all and dogs. <laughs> but they have. Uh, oh, Curtis. <laughs> they've got different voices. Your dog's a howler, huh? We can get him to howl. Get him excited and howl. He goes. Whoa. Yeah, we can get all his, we can get all the, the amp tones out of your dog. Yeah. Let's try to do that. <laughs> we just blew a stop sign. Yeah, it was impressive. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Old Town Richmond. This is a neighborhood called Church Hill, and uh, it's a lot of uh, yeah, it's it's old houses. A lot of it gets really dicey down there. A few blocks, like you'd really just have to go like three blocks, and it's straight up sketchy.
Where are you going? You going on tour? Yeah, your turn. You play. Can we play? Incarcerated, uh, had a lot of time on their hands, and they actually made yeah. a uh, a model, but actually a functioning model of an acoustic guitar, and uh, it was presented to me. And uh, this this shows you what a lot of time and uh, dedication to a project can uh, produce. It's pretty impressive, really. Hey, it's Mark Morton from the band Lamb of God, and I'm here uh, in my little jam room here in Richmond, Virginia, with my new toy, my new amp, the RA100 from Mesa Boogie. Uh, I was sent this amp late in the recording stages of our new record resolution, and immediately plugged it in and began playing with it, and quite simply fell in love with it. Um, it's really got a, uh, a low-end presence and a, a tight saturation on the bottom end that I felt like was... Um, missing from my tone and it gives it a little bit more of a modern character um, that I like quite a bit so these are my settings at the moment I'm still playing with it quite a bit but this is where I've got it right now um, I'm in the 100 watt mode uh, it's a little rowdier the 50 watt mode is cool but it's uh, it's just a little bit silkier and creamier um, just a more of a character thing but I'm in 100 watt right now got lots of mid um, dialed into my tone um, I like a kind of a bright bloomy sort of mid-range and um, the, I think the amp um, just inherently has quite a bit of low-end presence, and um, you'll hear in a minute when I start playing that that is definitely there. Nice tight saturation on the, on the bottom end, um, but a, a lot of variety in the amp, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. So um, it's definitely something I'm adding to uh, to my live rig, and uh, I'm pleased to be playing with it. <laughs> Hmm. 